Hey, today we're going to be doing a review of the Wireless Go by Rode. We ordered this a few days ago and it just arrived. So uh, we're going to do an unboxing. We're going to go over it and see how, uh, uh, how we like it. So follow along. I hope you enjoy. Hey, we got this uh, wireless go by road we're gonna do an unboxing we just got it and uh, so we're gonna open it up but the uh, first thing I noticed is the seal this way it came was off so I hope that's not an indication they sent me one that had been returned or whatever but let's uh, open it up here and uh, see what we can find this should just pull straight out and there we go first of all I wanted to show you the front of the box a little bit these are small little tiny uh, wireless system uh, one is the receiver and one is the uh, microphone this actually has the microphone built right into it and so it's really really small it shows how uh, this person's using it just clips on the side you can clip the little unit on the side and you're ready to ready to go at it a little bit of info on the uh, the back of it it's the world's smallest microphone is what they say and some of the things it comes with a couple cords and a couple wind uh, for wind muffs on it a little pouch some cables and the receivers so it's a ultra compact uh, wireless mic built-in microphone it uses the 2.4 gigahertz transmission so follow along we're going to open this on up and uh, just see what we have here all right here's the box itself it does come with a strip on it so I can tell it hasn't been opened before so let's just uh, open that up and then the first thing you come out is like most units they give you this uh, little quick start guide now it's right on the box itself it shows you the uh, uh, battery where the battery is at and it shows you where to plug in the microphone into your camera and some units but it has a little quick start guide right off and then uh, open it up to uh, this side here and it's got a little more info shows you how to mount it up and that so let's uh, go ahead and take the unit itself out of the box so we got two units here one of them will be the transmitter and the other one will be the receiver so let's just pull this on out sometimes these boxes can be to see how once they get them in here Aha, we just pull the whole thing, dump everything out of the box. And to start out with, we've got the units itself. Now, they have this little clip right here that you just, you pull that. And that's how they had it packed in the box. Same with the other side, there's the back side of the box. You uh, flip this up and open that clip. You can pull the two units out. Here in the side, they've neatly packed, these are your charging cords. They've got one on each side here. So it comes with two charging cords, one for the receiver and one for the transmitter. So there we go, we got our two cords out here. So this is basically what's in the box. We get it in the camera here. It's got a, there's one wind muff, there's two. It comes with two wind muffs. It's got a cable that will hook up to your camera or whatever unit you're putting the transmitter. It's got a little bit of that stuff that absorbs water in it. And then it comes in a nice little neoprene pouch. That's pretty cool. So you can uh, store everything right inside that pouch. It's got a uh, little uh, pamphlet here. It tells a little bit about safety information. It opens all the way up. A little bit of information about safety and the regulatory on it. So uh, there is, uh, looks like that's the only thing. I don't see a regular man manual. So it must be that simple that that's the only manual that comes with the unit. So start out, it looks like it's got a little, little film right over the top of that. So let's go ahead and remove that protective film. Each of them has that so they keep them from scratching or something right when, during shipping and stuff. But to uh, look at the unit itself, this here looks like this might be the on and off button. This side has nothing on it, and this side has one of them is for DB, 
And the other one, I'm thinking it's the change of frequency. We'll find that out more. There's a little slot. It uses the C, the USB and the C connection to connect it up. So there's where the C goes in. And this is where your cord will hook in from the receiver into your camera. This is the receiver end. Now I'm going to push and hold this button down and see if it comes on. There it is, wireless go. go. Okay, it looks like it's needing a charge. If you can see the charge button's uh, a little bit low. So we're going to go ahead and get this on charge here before we go too far with it. Alright, I wanted to show you the wind muff here. It has these little clips that will clip right onto it. So that's kind of an interesting setup here. And also what I wanted to show you is that it, when we opened this up, it had this uh, quick start guide right here. And it kind of shows you a little bit of the features and stuff to it. And then there's one on the other side here. Now this is all the instructions it comes from, but it does give you a website to go. You can put in a, uh, a QR code and you can access the uh, full digital manual. So you can uh, access the manual right from that way, but they don't send you a paper copy, which really you don't need one uh, with today's technology and uh, to be able to just get right on the internet, you can be able to pull that manual right down without having all that paper. Saves just a lot of paper. All right, here's everything that comes in the box. You've got your transmitter and your receiver. And then you have your uh, microphone or your audio cord. It comes with two of these dead cats. Comes with two, uh, these are uh, the C uh, USB charger cords. Comes with a really nice pouch. It's pretty cool that they put a pouch alongside of it. So first let's someone to show you how you attach the uh, microphone to the car. So this happens to be the uh, tr transmitter part, the microphone part. These little mics come with a uh, just like a little clip here and so to attach those all you have to do is you just kind of line up the little slots there and give them a good little firm push and it looks like it's on there pretty good so this is actually the whole microphone unit itself. The uh, power button is down here on the bottom. On the side here is the place where you plug your C cable in in order to charge it. And so th there's one more thing. The microphone kind of hides it right there. But there's a place here to plug in an external microphone. And if you didn't want to use the uh, microphone that it came with, you can actually plug in an external mic. But the cool thing, you can use this unit just as it is right here. Uh, it has a nice little clip. You can clip that on your shirt or anything you want to uh, use it. So that's the microphone unit itself. And this is the receiver here. This part here, it uh, again on the side here, it has your charging port. This is the, or the, audio wire goes into to feed out to your camera. This is the on button. And then on here it has the DB. This will change. You can change the loudness of your DB. I have a couple different cameras. I like my Sony uh, uh, 3000, X3000. It has a hot uh, audio coming out. So you can move that up and down to, to and it has a three positions that you can use to make it not so hot so you're not over modulated so that's pretty cool this button here you use it comes paired but this is the button that you would use to pair the unit together to get them but it comes paired all the way up on it so uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn that on so you hold the uh, power button down for about three seconds you see it came on all right so now we have the screen on right now and you can see it's looking for connection because next thing I got to do here is turn on the microphone unit. Same thing, hold that down. You'll see the two buttons coming up. Now side by side you can see that actually it's picking up my voice now. See it moving here? And so that's uh, pretty cool there. Even though it's not going out to anything because I don't have the uh, uh, wire plugged into it, it's still picking up the sound as I'm talking here. Uh, 
So you can also, if you wanted to change, I said the DB button, you see that little arrow over here to the left side? You hit that and see now it went to the center? Now it went all the way up. Usually middle is the best place to keep it set, but if you have a uh, camera that has a lot of audio coming out, you might want to move it up or down depending on your camera so you get the optimal uh, volume levels. It has the battery levels, your transmitter, and your uh, receiver up there at the top, so that's kind of handy. You can see what level the batteries are at. They take about two hours to completely charge up, and they'll work. Uh, seven hours. Uh, that's a long time. Now, I haven't tested that out, but uh, they say they'll work seven hours, which my film day normally doesn't go seven hours, so I could basically film all day long and still be uh, good to go. So that's basically the whole unit. Really, it's pretty simple, pretty small. I'd almost call it micro. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do a little testing. We're going to be hooking it up to a camera here and just see what we got. All right, here's all the pieces that I use. I have used the Osmo Pocket a lot. And one of the reasons I wanted this was to use it for a wireless mic system on my Osmo Pocket. So I'll show you how my setup goes together here. Of course, this is my Osmo Pocket here. And then the phone just, uh, the standard plugs into the side here. And then I have a bracket that I've made. This little bracket is a 3D printed bracket. I'll show you how it goes together. Uh, if anyone's interested in these, leave a uh, email to me and uh, I uh, maybe could print one out for you. So just let me know. They vary a little bit depending on your phone. But the uh, way this hooks up here, this is a standard cell phone holder. And at the bottom of it, it has a quarter 20 thread at the top. It has the hot shoe. So the way this does, see this will set just like this on here. And then I have this, I, you probably could get these somewhere. It has the quarter 20 at the bottom and the quarter thread at the top. Uh, this came off of another uh, extension unit that I had for a camera, but I think if you search you can find these out. I'll look for one. If I can find one, I'll leave one in the link here. And it'll screw nice and, uh, nice and tight right up against there. And then you can actually put your selfie stick on it. But then in order to mount the cell phone, all you have to do is set the unit in it and it'll hold it, hold it nice and tight and tighten this uh, back screw up. And so there it is, all set up into it. Now the cool part, if I want to hook up my Rode wireless mic, this well just takes the uh, receiver unit and the neat thing about these mics they have this clip that'll slide right into a hot shoe mount and you see how nicely that uh, that mounts up in there alright here's our Osmo pocket we have the uh, wireless go hooked up to it and so we have it all set up with our cell phone let's turn it on unlock the phone now it'll generally uh, go ahead and come, go right to the uh, MIMO app that uh, controls the, uh, there we go, this controls the uh, Osmo Pocket. It says its phone's connected. There we go. So now it's all set up. Now all we need to do is we'll turn on our Rogue mic. And then we need to turn on the microphone itself. Okay, it should be hooked up right now. We should have Mike. Now, if you watch here, look at the bars at the top. You can see where you are getting signal from it. Now, let's. Uh, I want to double check here and see what we have our gain, which we have it in the middle, the dB gain, which is about right. This mic is not as hot as, as like, say, my Sony mic is. So, we're uh, actually going to take a picture. Let's go forward. You can see me sitting here filming. Here we go. This is the uh, picture and you can see the microphone's working great from it here. We can move it. This nice thing about the wireless go or the Osmo Pocket and the wireless go that you can uh, move your film right around wherever you want it. So we'll uh, enter this uh, little clip here 
and so you can hear what the uh, microphone sounds like. Because at this point, I don't even know because I can't hear it. I'm uh, actually filming it. So we'll uh, enter this uh, little clip here, and so you can hear what the uh, microphone sounds like. Because at this point, I don't even know because I can't hear it. Okay, guys, next thing we do, we got our Sony FDR X3000. Uh, this is a cool little uh, camera in itself. Uh, I made this little bracket. Let me uh, show you a little close-up of it. Again, I 3D printed this out. This is like a little hot shoe. I used some strong double-sided tape and put it on the side of my Sony. And this way, I can be able to add our Rode unit, microphone unit to it. I've already got the uh, plug in here. But all I have to do is just slide this in place. And you see how nice and neatly. All right, you can see we have the uh, Rode Wireless Go all hooked up to our Sony uh, X3000. It neatly, uh, you can turn it around, it'll plug right into the side there. It makes everything handy. Now, in order to turn it on, what I do is just hold the button on the side. About three seconds, and there it comes on. Now, I wanted to show you something on this particular camera. The... Uh, it's a hot camera. The sound is hot on it. So I'm going to turn this, see where that's down to the lowest setting? Turn the dB down. The, with the dB all the way up, it almost over modulates. Some cameras are that way. Well, that's a nice thing about the wireless go. You can turn that down. If you have a hot output on your camera, you can adjust that by turning it down. Or if you have a real low, you can even bring it up. So uh, that's a pretty cool setup here. Let's, uh, then the next thing all we got to do is turn on to the wireless unit. There we go. It's ready to go. As you can see, it's uh, getting away. It's not over modulating. If you uh, see that go in the red layer, see how I made it go in the red? Go in the red. Uh, it'll do that. Now you saw that kind of dim. It's kind of a battery saving thing. After that's been on for a second or two, it'll dim down to save on your batteries there. But there's my setup for the uh, Sony X3000. If you uh, interested in one of those little uh, clips, email me. Uh, I email, uh, 3D print those out, and I might be able to help you out there. Just send me an email. All right, guys. Uh, here's the sound from our Sony X3000 using the uh, Rode uh, Wireless Go. We're going to uh, go over here and walk across the room, and you can see... We still have good signal, good sound. We go over here and we actually uh, talk to our little fishy. This is Taco the Paco. And uh, he doesn't talk much, so we can't get much out of him. But he's my buddy because I feed him. He eats dog food. So this is a test with our Sony X3000. And so far, I think it's working great. Okay, guys, here's the Sony uh, X3000. We're going to kind of walk a little ways. Uh, we're just going to back up here. I'm going to go clear out of the room and see if I lose any connection here. Now I'm clear out of the room. Now I'm going to do another check here. I'm going to walk over, put a wall between us. Now you might not see me any longer, but I have a wall between us. I'm curious if it went out or not, if we got static. Now I'm coming back in. That If it went out, we should have received it back. Let's do another one. Let's turn around because it's pretty much a line of sight. Now I'm gonna kind of walk away and see if I lose connection. I'm kind of a little ways from it. I got some walls between us. I'm gonna turn back around the other way and walk back to the camera here and just rattle on. It's hard to rattle on when you're just trying to think of nothing to say, but there's a test with our Sony uh, X3000 with the wireless Go by Rode. All right, guys, we're out here. We're gonna do a little distance test on this rogue wireless go just to see how far we can uh, walk away from it and if we lose it or not so we're out here in our driveway and we're going to start backing up and uh, i'm not just sure how far it's going to uh, continue picking up and i won't know because as i'm recording this you know we're just backing up and don't really know how uh, if we lost it or not I was told that this is pretty much a line of sight deal. 
I'm not sure how far we're out in our driveway, but uh, we're out a little distance here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. Now I say sometimes turning around might make a difference. So I'm gonna go the other way. I might lose you, but we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and walk across the street here. And I'm not sure I need to keep on talking here to uh, tell if we're broken up. So I'm curved across the street. Now I don't know, I'm guessing we're probably about 60 feet or so. Uh, so I'm not sure if we lost it or not. So we're gonna continue with them. Oh, I see a school bus coming up the street. School starting here. I didn't think it started till next week. Sometimes they do a run. A little something in the driveway. I'm not sure what that is. There, did I ruffle the mic? I kind of pushed on it there. So anyways, we're coming back. The point of this uh, test is to see if we lost the signal or not. Now we're right back up to it, so we should still have a good solid signal to it. Now this is on our Osmo Pocket that we're trying this out. Uh, it's set up in our little, uh, we made a holder for it that goes against our cell phone so we can actually see the picture on it. So uh, we're testing this out, we'll see how it goes and I won't know till I look at the footage. All right guys, we're gonna do another test. What we're gonna do is we have the camper. We're gonna go around our camper. That's our road track. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go back up here. And what we're gonna do is, I'm pointing at you right now. Like I said, line of sight, if I turn around, I, you would have me blocking the signal also. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and go around. We're in the front of our road track. And now we are completely on the back side of it. And I'm curious to see if we lost any signal or not. As we come back around, if we did, we should get our signal back. So this is a little, just a little test here to see how it worked. I'm going to walk out to the mailbox next. Just check the mail. I'm going to put my back to you and walk out here to the mailbox and just continue talking. You know, it's hard to come up with something to talk about when you're just randomly talking, not got no subject besides doing a mic test in mind, but we're crowd our mailbox quite a ways. Plus we have our road trip camper blocking us, nothing in the mail. So if I lost signal, let's see at what point it came back in. We're back around the camper now. Camper's all metal, so it definitely could block it out. Oh, I would think we'd have signal back at this point. So anyway, you guys, this was a little test with the wireless go, the rogue wireless go to see the distance, see if it dropped off or not. We'll see what we got. We're gonna check the footage out. All right, so we did several tests on this uh, wireless uh, go. Uh, rogue did a nice job of making this. You can see I have the uh, uh, mic unit on right now. I have it turned around to the out and you can turn this either direction. So the label's out or in either way, or you can plug in an external mic if you have a mic that you like. But uh, we did some tests. We went outside. We tried to get it to break signal and we never once really got it to break signal. We tried it indoors, uh, tried to go around some walls. Uh, we went outside, went around a, a metal vehicle. Thought maybe the metal vehicle would uh, do it. Uh, you know, just another little test. I'm not sure what it sounds like here, but I have a 3D printer. Uh, right here beside me and I'm printing an item out. Uh, it makes a little sound, not a lie, but I don't know if you hear it or not. If you do, it's like, I'm sure it mutes it down, which is really good. Uh, so we never did get it to break up on us, which is a great thing. Uh, all the distance I was, I don't really see myself filming any further in that. Uh, possibly it could be time, but I highly doubt it because I don't film that far away. Everything uh, is working good. We didn't really f try a battery test they claim seven hours i've seen others say that you know it goes a good seven hours that which is great that's a day's worth of filming on it so uh, i showed you a few items i had a little bracket i used for my uh osmo pocket the hook to your cell phone if you're interested in those brackets uh drop me an email down below uh, uh we can work out something and i can print you one out because i do print things out on the uh, uh 3d printer uh, and i also had a little bracket for the FDRX3000 Sony 
action cam where you can mount the Rogue mic on the side of that. So again, if you're interested in those, drop me a line. Email's down below. It's one lucky dog productions at gmail.com. So, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope uh, that'll maybe show you some different cameras that it's capable of doing. Uh, it'll work on just about any camera that has an input, a mic input. We uh, actually hooked it into our computer. We do a live chat here twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. Uh, check it out sometime, but we use that mic in our live chat and it worked excellent. It was better than the shotgun mic I had been using on my desk setup. So we did it right into the computer. So it worked out really good. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, uh, leave it in the comment section down below. Do us a favor, give us a thumbs up. And uh, we do all kinds of product reviews. We do other videos. We do some cooking videos. We have a live chat. We do a Parks and Cities uh, videos. So uh, we've always got something going on in the channel. Uh, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified and not miss one of our new videos, hit the little bell at the top. You'll be notified when our next video comes out. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope it was helpful. So we'll see you guys the next time. If you'd like to support our channel, we have links down below that you can click on. Uh, we have the, we're an Amazon affiliate. We have stickers available. We have a, a t-shirt store where you can buy t-shirts and coffee chat mugs. Or if you just want to support us, you can support us through the PayPal link. So we appreciate all your help. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.